Welcome to the final episode of Cave Story, everybody. So, if you've done all the stuff for the Golden Ending, you should be able to enter this shack. Unfortunately, the bed's broken, so you can't rest in it. So, if you took any damage during the collapsing sequence, guess what? You're not repairing that. And, oh boy. This is by far the hardest part of the game down here. Let's get started. The 290 counter has it activated. And all our weapons drop to level 1. Excellent. It's the Bloodstained Sanctuary. Welcome to hell. Extremely accurate. Yep, we're already dead. Expect that to happen a lot. And the screen shaking doesn't help your concentration, I'm just going to say that. <sighs> yeah, this part of the game is just so brutal. Did you know that the woman named Jenka had a younger brother? His name was Balos, and like his sister, he possessed magical powers that no man had. Interesting. Darn it! I want to get that life capsule. shoot properly because of the screen shaking. He led and protected the people with his magical power. They loved and trusted him, even more than their own cane. Ow! Use the tow rope on Curly. And now we get the fun part. Complete RNG in this room. If those big blocks decide they're going to fall on you, they're going to fall on you. And these guys deal a ton of damage, too. Jealous of Balos, the resentful king Cotton imprisoned him, and his punishment was severe and cruel. Humans truly are terrible creatures. Balos was driven in a state of pure, uncontrollable rage by the punishment. Weakened by the torture, he was helpless to contain the fury. The king and kingdom were swallowed by Bas Balos' ma wild magical force. The life that he loved so dearly was turned into ruins in a single night, shrouded only by fiery hot ashes. So the plot's kind of coming full circle in this area. Oh, and now Curly's on her back and she has a nemesis as well, and she can shoot backwards. Whatever direction we shoot, she shoots the opposite way. Unless we're shooting up or down and she shoots the same way. And trust me, you want to level up the missile launcher. You really want to level up the missile launcher. So I like taking this area slow, at least this room. Oh look, these angel enemies, guess what, the spur can't one-shot them. Really catchy music, though. If you've got a brutally hard div uh, level, having great music really helps in that regard. 
I totally forgot about these guys. It's amazing how this level just totally starts coming back to you. Driven insane by his punishment, Balos was confined to the floating island in the sky by his sister Jenka. That was all she could do. For Jenka, killing her own younger brother would be impossible. Also, Twin Nemesis. Oh, I, I still have the level 2 Nemesis. Forget that. Must get the level 3 Missile Launcher. Yeah, once again, I'm not talking too much in this area because I am concentrating very hard on making it out alive. I am amazed I haven't died yet. Well, besides, you know, the first, like, eight times that I died in this area. No, don't want the rubber ducky nemesis. Jenka's witch daughter misery is to blame for the demon crown. She forced Balos to create it. Because of this offense, she was cursed by the crown, compelled to obey whoever possesses it. The curse can be lifted if the, if the demon crown is destroyed. However... To be continued, indeed. Oh, man. I need, the I need to use the life pot. Oh yeah, it's time for the mini-boss now. I just gotta destroy this fane. There is just an unlimited supply of these stupid little angel guys. Whoa! Why do I have the fireball equipped? I forgot how tough this guy is. Get out of the way. The demon crown will be restored anew an infinite number of times as long as Balos' heart still beats. That is the supreme magical power of his internally enraged soul. It is in intrinsically Im imbued into his evil creation, the demon crown. Also, if we go in here... Halder. Anatopun. 
Miyakido. Date Fuyuhiko. No, I want my... Oh, yay. Thank you. At least I got my level 3 missile launcher. Alright. Time for the true final boss. Please kill my master. Doing so will liberate Misery from her eternal curse. This is the only way that a reoccurrence of this tragedy can be stopped. My master's name is Balos. He's a man who cannot die. His magic is beyond any control. Well, that's just stupid. Welcome. I am Balos. Long, long ago, I allowed my drive for magical power to grow recklessly without fear of enduring any retribution. A magic so powerful that even its own master was helpless to contain it. So furious and unstoppable was this force that its fire consumed the child who adored me and the wife who loved me. They were swallowed by its flames and suffered dearly, all because of my selfish transgression. My eyes were fixed and I was unable to turn from the fiery horror created by my own magic. I could only laugh then. Jenka sealed me away with my magic raging more violently with each passing minute. I've waited long for this for the person who will bring my immense magical fury to its end. Now kill me, or I will kill you! Hello. Hi, Balos. You are a tough boss. Oh, and yeah, and if we die to him, we have to do the entire hell area all over again. Okay, I did... And this is his easy form. No, that's not the end. Not by a long shot. Hi, Balos. No, he crushed me! No! Great, now I've got to go through hell and back. No! Yeah, I'm purposefully using the spur when attacking and then picking stuff up with the missile launcher just so I can get it to level 3, because we really want the level 3 missile launcher for Ballas' final form! Aw, oh, crud. So yeah, you can kind of see now how all the plot's fitting together, where it's like, yeah, we beat the Doctor, but if we don't kill Ballas as well, then this is just going to happen all over again. This also kind of explains where Misery came from. I don't know, I thought it was a nice little bit of lore. Even if it all literally just came out of nowhere at the very end. Like, I remember after I beat the game, I'm like, wait, that was the bad end? Or that was, like, not the good ending? I'm like, really? Wait, I was, like, low on HP? Oh, darn it. Okay, I can't believe I made it to Balboats in, like, only a few tries. Okay, now that was just embarrassing. I guess I should tell you what happens in the regular ending. Regular ending, you take off in the helicopter. Actually, no. I can't remember if you take off in the helicopter or if you don't make it, and then uh, Kazuma rides in on the flying dragon and saves you at the last second. Unfortunately, this means Curly dies in the regular ending. So the real bad guy here is obviously the king who, like, tortured Balos because he was a nice guy. That's just stupid, man. I mean, come on. Plot twist, the king who did that was the Burger King. Wait for the right opening. Oh, um, wrong gun. You jerk. 
I did not want to shoot a change to my missile launcher, but that worked. And I just realized I keep missing that giant missile expansion in there. Thank you for that. Yeah, why not? Alright. Time to take out Balos. Bet you I won't be able to get through his final form with only 26 HP. Probably less than that if I can't uh, get through his first two forms without taking damage. Hey, Balos. Why does he have cracks through his eyes? Is that part of the torture? That would be horrible. Darn it. Alright. Yeah, so let's just please keep doing this form over and over again. Dang it! His first form keeps dominating me. Yeah, if you can step inside his eye, you can deal huge damage with the maxed out spur, because it'll hit actually both of his eyes. Alright, Balos. Nice! If I do say so myself. Final form. Poor Balos. No! I ran into him! Ah, oh, darn it! I'm getting sick of going through hell! My hands are actually sweaty, which doesn't help the keyboard. Nor does that. I did too well there. I did too good of a job preserving my booster. <sighs> Fat Pit, I hate you so much. Shaky screen, great as always. Thank you, developer, for doing that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you see that destroyable block up there? We get plus 24 missiles. Alright, this time I'm not going to shoot immediately. Don't shoot until he opens his eyes and his hand is, like, outstretched. Let's put Balos out of his misery. Get it! <laughs> Now.
Alright. Babas' first two forms are actually quite easy once you get his pattern down. Just make sure you always jump over his bones that he makes for this form. Also, is it just me or does this form of Balos kind of look like the Majora's Mask Moon? Great game, by the way. I will definitely let's play that in the future. This music really pumps you up to just, like, get it done. And also, uh, this is not his final form. Balas has way too many forms. Here we go. And this is where the missile launcher really comes in handy. Also, Nightmare Fuel Warning. Oh boy. Goodbye, Balos. You're welcome. Seven minutes, 33 seconds, and five milliseconds. And the island stops falling after we defeat Balos. Okay. It stopped. The islands have stopped falling! Was the negative power weakened with his defeat? I don't really get it, but whatever. Maybe our work here is finally done. Can't breathe. What? Hot. I. Hot. So painful. Whoa! Help. Can't breathe. So hot. We're both going to be crushed in here. Hey! There you are, just like Misery said. You came here to save us! Hold on tight! Here we go! Thank you, Balrog. Whoa, yeah! How's your head? A little beat up. Close! Such a narrow escape. I thought I was scrap metal this time. Looks like we owe you yet another one. There's no need for that. I did what Misery asked. Misery? As in that witch? Yep! Doesn't she hate us? Wait, don't you hate us? You two defeated Balos. Our curse was lifted thanks to you. Misery and I no longer have to listen to orders from anyone. I thought you were a bad guy, but it was just because of the demon crown? We asked for it. You have to remember, it was Misery who had Balos make the crown. Huh? Really? I didn't know that. Yep! And now? What? Now what are you going to do? I could take you anywhere. Well, since you asked, our mission's complete, so I want to live somewhere calm with a nice view. Pardon me, but, um... Yes? Can I go with? Sure! All three of us, we can live together for sure. Really? You can even pick the spot where we all live. But take us somewhere nice. Gotcha! All right, hang on tight! And that's Cave Story. The best ending there is. From the surface, Sue looks up to her brother's... Sometimes reliable brother, because it was Sakamoto. Sue's mom, Sue's grandfather figure, the Mimika-like coward engineer. Nice and courageous. The leader, number two, eats, eats, eats. The angler, the farmer. 
the Cowardly Loner, the Colorful Mimiga, Power Supply Bot, Mimiga Ally, Mimiga Killids, aw, Keeper of the Sand Zone, Jenka's Puppies, the Labyrinth Arms Dealer, Chaba. That's a pretty awesome image. I am a nurse. <laughs> the Plantation. Grandpa Mimiga, Sprinkler Manager, Followers of the Doctor. Drawn to the Crown. Cursed by the Crown, a new friend! Also, the Hermit Gunsmith, a tasty mushroom, living on the outer wall, the Littles. Every Little in the world can find the Little House! Oh, Dane Kane looks awesome. Junka's powerful younger brother, Balos. Also, he's got a creepy face. Huh. <sighs> but yeah, that's Cave Story. I didn't get every item in the game, I don't think. I didn't get the alien medal, which you get for beating that odd giant fish without taking damage. But yeah, that's a fun game. I highly recommend it. I think it's like $9 on Steam, so I would definitely recommend but only if you're looking for a game that's kind of hard. Because this is even harder than Mega Man, I would say. Ugh. Fat Pit. Ball Frog, yep. Black. Monster X. Meow. The core. True heroes meet the Red Ogre. The Red Crystal runs wild muscle doctor. Great music also. Please tell me they actually stayed as humans, though. And that is misery. I can't believe one guy made this game. That's pretty amazing that one guy managed to make this game. I'd love to be that guy who makes awesome games just by himself. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. And although I'm not going to be making any new Let's Plays in 2016, please enjoy the ones that I am currently making. And I look forward to seeing you in 2017. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.